Hello and welcome to DTWG, the prep welcome. Okay, so in today's video, we're go I'm going to be taking you through how you can use your GED calculator to calculate, um, you know, your quadratic formula. Okay, so we have this, this is the on-screen um, calculator. All right, but you know, your normal GED calculator looks quite different from it, the physical one, but all the buttons here are the same as the physical one. So as we practice this, I would also love uh, for you to also do this on your own. Okay, so we have um, treated these questions, all right, and I think uh, in our video on the quadratic formula, that's solving it the normal way, uh, our answer to this first one, uh, we got we got four and one. I just want to write this down so we confirm with our calculator. And this one we got five and negative one. Uh, this one we got five and uh, a negative zero point uh, six seven or a negative two over three. Okay, all right. And for this one. Uh, we got uh, quite like decimals. So we got 0 0.22 and a negative 1.82. All right, so we're going to be using our calculator to confirm these answers. I'm going to be showing you how to use um, your GED calculator to solve this. All right, so for the first one, the first question. Now, your GED in um, the quadratic formula, all right, your quadratic equation has to look exactly like this expression, where you have to have your value for the, our first question, x squared minus 5x plus 4 equal to 0. So you, on your paper sheets, quickly write the values a as what 1. a is positive 1, b here is a negative 5, and c is a positive 4. Okay? You can see this. a is this. B is this and C is this. Okay, so have this right written on your sheet of paper. Then we can now proceed to our calculator. All right. So on our calculator, just watch me as we go. We clear before you start any operation. Please do clear. I'm also going to teach you how to clear a stored value after you solve maybe a question. You see another quadratic. Uh, formula question that you need to solve. You need to clear the formal ones. I'm also going to teach you how to do that. So you don't just impute and you have a different wrong answer. Okay, so clear. Now for our first value, one, so you put in, you um, punch it, one, you click this button, this STO, which is store. Okay, you store as A. Click, 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 click to the alphabet A. Just continue clicking to the alphabet A. Then you press enter. It has stored A as one. Go to the next one. This is a negative five. Use this negative. Don't use this sign here. Use this. This is for negative numbers, okay? So negative five, then click store. Come here, click, 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 click to B. B, then enter. It's stored. Now for C. The same process is a positive, so put four, click the store button, then click, 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 click to C and enter. So you have stored your A, B, and C. Now, the next thing now is to impute, impute this guy, this, this formula, all right, into our calculator. You might be feeling this is impossible, but please do, after this, have your own GED. You can have your own GED calculator and, you know, your physical calculator and do it yourself also. Follow me through. All right. So you come here, click the button. It goes here. Now you can see this, this formula here is a fraction. There's a numerator and denominator. So come here. I have done a video on how to solve fractions on your GED. Okay. You, I would also drop all those videos. I'm actually curating them on a course on the DTW Prep website, the link to the course will be in the video description box of this video. Oh, 
and I hope so absolutely for, for God. Please, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Help us to grow. Help me to grow. And uh, give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, loved ones. You can check our website for summary notes, study guides, free practice questions. You want to download your GED math formula sheet, please go ahead there to download them all on dtwgedprep.com. You can also join our Facebook group, wonderful group, over 23,000 members in the group. You can ask your GED questions, you are having fears on some things, some challenges on the GED in whichever state you are in New York, California, Texas, you can ask there. Okay, I will leave all the links also on the Reddit group. There's a Reddit group. You can also join there and ask your question. I'll leave all the links in the video description box of this video. So now coming back here, so we click on this fraction, sign, we click this, then we enter a negative B, so negative B. Then we do, let's do the positive first, because here we have plus and minus. All right, so do the positive first, positive. Then second function, we are to get the square root first, the square root. Then we are to get B, B, okay, square. Do you see that? Then minus, this is like an operational minus not like a negative number so minus four we have to get a a to get c to write c you you click on this arrow so it takes you because if you still remain there it will still be on the letters a and you know going further and further so we click get c to get c then we go down this is two a we do two, then a. Oh, I have to go back. A, okay? And you click enter. You see that it has given us our first result four, which is this four, okay? So now this is positive, right? This is minus b positive square root, you know, all this. So now how do we get uh, for the negative, you know, it is two answers. Every quadratic formula, um, quadratic equation has two answers. So to get for the negative, but uh, when it's negative, all you need to do is press, click on enter. So it reproduces this as it reproduces it. So you don't, you know, you don't have to start typing it out again. It reproduces this. Then you go up, go up here. Okay, when you when you are here, it highlights everything. Click on enter again so that you can go in now and try to edit that positive sign. So we're going to that positive sign and change the positive sign to what negative. When you are done with that, click on enter and it gives us our second result, which is what one. Okay, so we are correct for our first question. We are correct. Do we see that? So this is how you solve for, uh, you know, your quadratic formula. If you have this and it asks you to, you know, solve, all right, factor, what is, what is, what is, uh, what is the solution to this? What are the values of X? You can just use your quadratic formula, impute this if you don't want to go the long route. Okay. So impute this and you get your answer. Okay. So now how do we do number two? I'm going to re repeat the whole process. So I do clear. So for me to clear those third values, I come here, I click on second function, I click, click on clear values. It says clear value, value variables, I click on one and it clears everything. All right, how am I sure? To check, you do second function, click on recall. If you go down, you see that A and B and C have been cleared. Do you see that? So we have cleared them. So now let us put in the new values of our second quadratic equation. What are the new values? Uh, this is x squared minus 4x minus 5 equal to 0. So our new values is a equal to 1, b equal to negative 5, and c equal to negative 5. So I do 1. I store as what? a. Enter. I do negative, this is negative 4, sorry. Okay, I do negative 4. 
negative 4 score as B. Enter. I do negative 5 score as C. Enter. Okay. So next thing, I click on the down arrow. I do fraction. I do negative. I put in my putting in my formula. I do negative B. Okay. I use plus first plus. You know we have plus and negative. Plus. I do second function to get our square root. This is square root. So to activate the square root, you always have to click second function square root. Uh, B square minus 4 in for a a to 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 get our c you see that if i keep on clicking like this it won't take me to c so don't uh, make that uh, error and click enter for you to go to the next uh to the next uh space no don't don't do that because it's going to give you an error all right so all you need to do is click this arrow when you click this arrow it takes you, you can now type in the next value, which is what C. Then we go down, we put 2, and that is a 2A. All right, so you can see our formula is like into this. And we press Enter. It gives us our first result. You can see that we are correct. It gives us 5. Okay, now we click on, so that we don't type again, we click on Enter. It brings up another one. Then go up the arrow, go up the formula, and click Enter. So this enables you edit it. So we go to that positive sign there and change it to negative, and then click Enter. And it gives us our second answer, which is negative 1. You can see that? Okay, now let's go to the next one. So we clear. You can see if I don't go to clear my variables, look, let me show you now. Second function. Go to recall. If I go down, you see it's having the last variables, these variables which we, we we stored. So you have to clear. So we come to second function, clear variables. You click on yes. All right, let's go to check. Second function, let's see them. Is it there? You can see we have cleared them. It's all zero. So now let's go to our second, our third question, which says, 3x squared minus 13x equal to 10. So we have to take 10 here. So this becomes 3x squared minus 13x. Taking 10 here becomes negative 10 equal to 0. So it means here A is 3, B is negative 13, C is what? Negative 10. So these are the values that we have to store, the variables we have to store, okay? So the first one is 3. Store it as A. Enter. The next one is negative 13. Store it as B. Enter. Next is negative 10. Store it as C. Enter. All right. You go down now, put the fraction sign, and let us start putting in our value. So that's this a negative. B, oh, past it. B, let's start with plus, second function, square root, call up the square root, then B, square, minus 4, A, space, put in your C, then go down, put in your 2 and your A. You see that? Okay, so it's likened to this, and we press enter. All right, you can see our first answer here is five, correct. Now click enter again. Then go up, go up to the formula, click enter. So we're able to edit, then we go and edit that positive to become what? Negative and click enter. You can see our second answer, negative two over three. So we are correct. Now let's go to the final one. 
All right, let's check our variables, uh, the values for the final one. So we have 5x squared minus 2 equal to minus 8x. So we arrange, so that will be 5x squared. Let 8x come here, it becomes positive 8x, then negative 2 equal to 0. So it means A here is 5, B is 8, and C is negative, negative 2. Okay, so let us clear. Our memory bank clear second function clear yes all right so we've clear now let us uh impute five is for a sorry so a enter then b is positive so eight store as b enter then Negative 2 will be stored as C. Sorry. Be stored as what C. Enter. All right. So we come down, click on our fraction, put our negative B. Let's start with plus. Hold on our square root. Then B square. Square minus four, we have uh, first a. a, press the arrow so we can go further, then c, okay, we've gotten our c, then we come down, then two and a, okay, and we click enter. Okay, so it gives us this. I think we we did this, yes, we did this where I told you sometimes, the GED might give you your answer as this. We did this. Thank God I explained it. But in case you want, you don't want your answer to be this way in the irrational format, just come here, click the toggle button. It gives you the decimal format, which is what? This is 0 0.21, which is likened to this when you approximate. Okay. So here is 0 0.219. You can approximate it to be a 0 0.22. You see that? Okay, so I will click on enter. Uh -huh. Okay, let me come here now and click on enter. Okay, so you go to the formula, click on enter, then we come up and edit that sign. Okay, to be negative and click enter. Let's see our new answer. You see that it gives us a negative uh, square root 26 minus 4 over 5, which we also got when we solved that way. But we are looking for the answer in you know, decimal form. Okay, so we click on toggle. Do you see that? We have our answer here, which is also the same as this that we wrote from the beginning. A negative 1.819, which is the same as negative 1.82. All right, so this is how you use the GED calculator, you know, to solve any quadratic equation using the quadratic formula, all right? So if you encounter that particular quadratic equation that you know you don't you don't get at all, just, <laughs> you can't solve, or you just get confused, just get your GED calculator, practice this format before you get into the hole, all right? Practice, 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 it makes you perfect. So just get your GED calculator, your formula sheet will be given to you, so you don't need to even cram this formula. You will have your formula sheet. If you're sitting for the GED online, there's always a, a tab that, you know, takes you to the GD formula sheet and your GD calculator, and you would just quickly do this. All right, so thank you for staying to the end of this video. Thank you. And please do subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and share this video. Please do subscribe to help us grow. Check our website for some free summary note study guides. You can register for this course on our website also, you know, curated everything, math, algebra, okay, curated and register please um you know register and you know check our website for several other um resources for your ged you can also join our facebook group and reddit group all the links will be in the video description box of this video thank you and finally please don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon please do give your life to christ for he's the way he's the truth and he's the life and he loves you he loves you so, so much and is calling you today.
to come unto him. And he will give you rest. He will take away those burdens from you and give you victory over every battle, over every challenges you're facing in your life right now. Be it financial, marital, be it health-wise, mental health-wise, depression. He's going to take it away from you and give you joy unspeakable, give you peace that passes all pastors of understanding. God, our Lord Jesus, would give it to you. So He is waiting on you today. And the best thing of all is He's going to lead you to heaven at last. That's the best thing. Because there's always life. There's life after death. And Jesus is the way to eternal life in heaven at last. Thank you for staying tuned to this video to the end and um, I wish you success in life and also in your GED test and see you in our next video. Thank you.